Ciao Ferrari fans, but you gotta like cartoons as well because we have the Toroku version of the 288 GTO. Okay, it's uh, number 82 in the Cherokee Zero series and uh, came out uh, this year, but yeah, it's weird. They don't have a year on here anymore. They used to have years. It's very strange for collectible things to not date themselves, right? Because if you're trying to have a collectible, you're probably going to go up in value, but people want to know how old things are to set a value on things. Is it me or is the, am I just talking crazy? All right, well, I don't keep this packaging. It is officially licensed, if that matters to you. Um, and then we have separate mirrors, which I never put on, almost never put on, because they're not pegged in. So, I mean, imagine that little piece of plastic holding that mirror, so when you break it off, you just have glue residue on your, your Choro cube. So that's why I don't do it. It's almost like they shouldn't even bother with the mirrors. They should just give you a second base without the coin holder instead. It's not like this is a lot of plastic. All right, well anyways, here's some photos of a 288 GTO, which is basically like a really hot rotted uh, super version of what looks like a Magnum PI vehicle. I think it's a totally different car entirely, but it looks like Magnum PI's 328, but, uh, or 308. But I believe this is a far more powerful car, but correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just going off uh, decades of memory, which is not so good anymore. Alright, so, you know, it's a cartoon car. Can't really expect it to look like those photographs 100%. But looking at the wheels, they do look like Ferrari wheels. And this, they even have the little perimeter bolts, the multi-piece wheels. And then you got the center knockoff that looks like a hexagon of some sort. So that's cool. And they're passing air, so Charco is advanced, I think. Uh, granted, the holes are really small. You can kind of see a little light getting through. But it's better than a blanked off wheel. So it's nice to see that. The only gripe, though, is uh, these tires. I really wish they went back and went to rounded tires instead of these kind of like just falling off uh, curved tires. Uh, it would make no difference to the cost of the rubber, right? They just had to make some new molds all right so there is a bump here for this uh, running light or reflector unfortunately it's not painted it should be orange I believe so that's kind of lazy but I guess it's better to have this the prancing horse is that horse upside down Wait a second. <laughs> hold on no I guess it's fine oh they're trying to get the SF letters or whatever those letters are all right, well, you can see the black line bisecting it. It actually is recessed and painted black, so that's very nice. Maybe not the best application there, but that's fine, and it would be easy to correct just also. Uh, a little vent there, no paint. I guess that's the way they had to do it. Yeah, there's not much plastic here to put a vent in other, any other way. Uh, the vents back here look good. Uh, so that's the side. No door cuts. Oh, wait, a little bit of a door cut there, I see, and a tiny bit there. So maybe that's the door handle, this little rectangle. Yeah, probably. The window molding there looks pretty good. This is a smoked body, by the way, although it looks all black. They're trying to hide the motor, and for some reason, they, they have this, uh, here you can see this way, maybe. You can see my hand moving. I don't know why they don't just use black bodies. I mean, black plastic, and then paint that. But maybe it has something to do with the, a little bit of light makes it look better. I'm not sure the light getting through there. So we got the Ferrari badge up here as well, and it looks kind of like a horse in the Italian flag, so not bad. Nice ribbing here in the hood, panel gaps, okay, I guess. And then the black bumper looks nice. Oh, this is cool, this is cool. So I'm really noticing on the late, latest Choro cues, they're trying to get more clear headlights in there. So this is literally a clear piece of plastic and silver behind it. I don't know if it's an inserted piece or if they paint the back of this thing silver. And this is a clear body. No, but that, look how dark that is. So this must be an inserted piece of plastic. So that's really cool. Very appreciated. Nice stuff. Uh, the prancing horse looks good. I don't even really... Oh, these are vents. I see. So I was looking at these boxes, but it turns out that the space is between the vents. But there's no black paint in them. Uh, this is a nice deep vent here. Probably for the brakes. Okay. And it's nice to see this orange and silver for the running lights in the bumper as well. 
Okay, very neat, very good. Uh, blacked out paint for the whole canopy. All right. This side, no issues. I'm now noticing there's a vent down here, and that is on the real car. All right, it is a bit gappy, but this is a children's toy. If you're unfamiliar with chore cues, they, they wind up motors. You, you gotta wind it up more than that, though. All right, it's nice that they tell you it's a churro cue, well, something Q0. Uh, that, I guess, must be churro in Japanese. And it tells you it's a Ferrari GTO, and this is a production dial. It takes a, a little bit of getting used to, but the, the two middle numbers are the year, so it says 2023, and then August. August of 2023. Standard construction of a screw and a tab in the back. Very nice. We had uh, the differential back here. It's painted silver as a separate piece, I imagine. And the exhaust pipes are coming down and sticking out nicely. They're very thin, so I can understand why they don't have a recess there. They're really small. I mean, this is a too thick after all. The uh, bumper here is painted black. Unfortunately, it's not painted well enough. You know, it's not, not bad on this side, but the other side, not so great. Uh, we got a different red here for the taillight, the orange and the white there. Seems like the photograph, so that's good. I suppose it would be nice if this was a metallic orange, but it's better than no orange. Okay, so it tells you what the car is and that stuff, the where it is in the series. The Ferrari printing here is very legible, very nicely done. Uh, the vents here look pretty good. They sound pretty good. Even some sort of round dots, I'm not sure what those are. I'm not sure what this is, maybe it's the third brake light. Can you see my finger through the back window? No, cannot. All right, so that's it. You can put a coin in here. That's why you have this rectangle in the first place. Naturally, it would be better if they didn't have the rectangle, but that's the tradition. Chorky has been around for over four decades, and they started off as pullback toys, and people want to have, you know, wheelies and stuff. But I feel like these things have kind of priced themselves out of normal children's range, you know. Maybe if you're Richie Rich or something like that, you can have these, but normal people? I don't know. Even I question why I buy some of these things. But it sure does look cool. I like my deformed stuff more than realistic stuff. So looking good, some other Ferraris here. Toro Q0 number 69 is the 355 Challenge. Okay. Toro uh, Q66 066 is the F40. You notice the wheels are all different. They're specific to each casting. And then zero number 70 is the casting of the F50. So, yeah, I guess at some point in time they'll probably have to come out with a 308 or 328 because that's actually the more popular car, I think, because of Magnum PI. And more people could afford the 328 or the 308. The GTO is a pricier car. I'd also like to see a Testarossa done by these guys. Um, either one, either the classic 60s Testarossa or the 1980s or was it 1990s? I think it started in the 80s. That's a really iconic design as well. Here's a little top view for you. setting up the coaster and we got the smooth cat Lando Calrissian this is the type of car I could see Lando driving if he didn't fly spaceships okay well another nice Churro Q0 definitely some improvements are happening there by the brand you'll notice here like the painted on headlights right not cool there's a giant swatch of silver and the F40 black headlights so the clear stuff is the way to go. Tiny Q does it, and Tiny Qs cost half the price. So, or less, definitely less. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Hero Q video. Hopefully they'll do more Ferraris. See ya.